I think there are some ways that the Alberta government can help, and I, th I think the best way that it can help is to lower taxes, to make sure it's the most cost-effective place in the world to do business for businesses, and that means low tax. And, um, you know, people keep talking about higher corporate taxes, but higher corporate taxes is actually exactly the opposite of what we need to do. If we have low taxes for corporations, it means more corporations will want to come here and build facilities and, and create jobs, and that's what I think we need to do because my, my dilemma is the long term um, is looking very bleak indeed. If we, if we can't manage our economy when we have $100 a barrel oil and we can't balance our books on that, how do we expect to do it when we don't have any oil left? We, agriculture is you know, not going to do it and tourism certainly isn't. And there's not really any other industry of significance except for some, um, well, there's no other industry of significance that brings in any revenues. So what are we going to do with a 4 million population, 10 million population at that time when we don't have any more oil left. We have to look at other options and I think there are tremendous options available to us. One is that we can have the lowest tax environment in the world to encourage manufacturing to move into the places that don't have the large labor costs and, and to, um, to look at other options such as um, science and technology, hydropower, which is definitely options with the mountains we have. Um, to create energy because once those coal-fired plants close down, the three that are going to happen in Alberta, we're going to have significant problems with our, obviously, our hydro rates are going to triple in my mind. Um, so there are other, we have to look at other value added, but the, we need to create a, the best environment possible so they can do that. And right now, I mean, most, there's been no new uh, real refining built in North America in the last 30 years because of the cost to do it and also because of the regulatory um, impediments between it and getting success.